Hey everybody, welcome to the Mana Lake. I'm John, as always, and a new game appeared on my uh, my Google Play Store last night, Mana Strike. This was originally announced about a year ago, year and a half ago, as Project M, and then later revealed to be Mana Strike. A uh, 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 not quite MOBA, not quite card game, not quite battler kind of mobile game. And uh, let me tell you, it's very much a mobile game, but in this game you get to build a deck of seven cards. These cards are going to be either colorless or color matched to the planeswalker of your choice, and they're going to be creatures that have HP and attack speeds and different movement types, and maybe they attack buildings, or maybe they attack creatures, or maybe they attack air or ground. And uh, some of them will have special abilities, like they might jump to a building and skip the creatures in front of them, or, or stuff like that. You might have spells that are like direct damage, so you can just shoot a ratchet bomb to a uh, section of the battlefield and deal everything damage that's sitting there. Or you might have buildings or things like that. You also have your planeswalker, which you can summon three times a game, and they are a more powerful unit. They have a special spell that they can use, and they give you the ability to place creatures around them wherever they are on the battlefield. If they're not currently on the battlefield, you can only put creatures down on your side. Once the game has started and you have started summoning these creatures, you're having to pay mana and you're generating mana about every five to maybe 10 seconds or so. And uh, you use that mana, cast the creature and those creatures in, in MOBA fashion, just kind of mindlessly walk towards whatever they're looking to attack, whether it be creatures, planeswalkers, buildings, or etc. And you're looking to destroy the big tower at the other end of the battlefield. And there are two uh, intermediary towers before that that you can kill for points as well. The winner is whoever kills the tower first, but the games only last three minutes. If three minutes winds up, which it frequently does, the winner is whoever has destroyed the most towers of those intermediary towers. In the final minute, you do get an extra ability to summon your planeswalker. So as I said, you can only summon them three times in a game, but in the last minute, you get one more chance to summon them and your mana doubles. So you just start spamming out creatures. I've yet to really figure out much of a strategy for this game other than spamming out creatures. Obviously, a lot of it comes down to knowing exactly what all your cards do. And because you can't actually check that in game, it's going to take a whole lot of effort to understand when you should cast your Hell Rider because it will jump across creatures to buildings and when you should instead summon something that is uh, weaker but is going to get rid of those creatures that are threatening you. So as I said, it is very much a mobile game. There is, of course, a shop with all kinds of stuff that you can buy for currency and stuff that you can buy for money because you can, of course, buy the currency by paying ludicrous amounts of money. It's a uh, mobile game in 2019, so it's got a battle pass that you can upgrade to get better rewards and all kinds of stuff like that. It's interesting. I'm actually not going to bash this game. I know everybody's going to look at this and say, oh, it's trash. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Why isn't it arena? Well, it's a magic licensed game. Wizards of the Coast didn't make this. This didn't take away from anything. And uh, I fully understand if it's not your jam. And it's not really my jam either. I'm going to play it for fun for a little bit to see where it goes. But it's not super my jam. But it didn't take away anything. We didn't lose anything because of the existence of this game. So I'm not willing to bash it for that. Once you get into the deck building, you can actually start leveling up your cards. Uh, as you get more copies of a card, you can convert them into a higher level of that card, perhaps more hit points or more attack points or things like that. The limiting factor, of course, is that you have to pay gold to upgrade as well, and uh, it doesn't seem like you get too, too much gold without paying for it or uh, doing the free-to-play method of only playing for maybe a half an hour a day, unlocking your rewards, and then putting it away for the rest of the... Uh, the afternoon or the evening. But as I said, I don't really have any real strategies for this and it's probably not available to a lot of you. Um, based on what I saw in one of the uh, drop down menus, it said Canada, uh, Mexico, and I think Australia were actually the only countries that you could choose for your current location. Meaning that uh, if you're in the US or elsewhere, you probably can't access this game just yet. But if you can access it, if you've given it a shot, let me know what you think. As I said, I'm going to I'm going to play this for a little bit, just like I played Valor's Reach. It is not magic. It is not in any way, shape or form intending to be magic. It's just a game based on the world of magic. And guess what? I like the world of magic, so I'm going to give this a shot and see how it goes. Will I stick with it? Probably not. But let me know if you've had a chance to play with this, what you think of it. Uh, if you have any questions about it, definitely let me know, and I can uh, throw an answer in the comments. Um, but yeah, 
just thought I'd let you know about this new game that uh, I I briefly heard yesterday still existed and then suddenly was available for me to play. So ask away with your questions. If you do have those questions, comments, or suggestions, you let me know. Otherwise, you can always find me over on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. You can find me at patreon.com slash manaleek if you want to become a backer there and help the channel out that way. Go and check out twitch.tv slash the manaleek, especially tomorrow because I'll be doing my annual 24-hour stream raising money for Extra Life and doing a bunch of giveaways. I just last minute had a ton of stuff donated by WizKids Gamings. If you like uh, the Guildmasters uh, minis and D&D stuff, I got a whole bunch of that along with other WizKids stuff. So check that out. But if you do have questions, comments, or suggestions, you let me know. Otherwise, I'll see y'all next time.